Hi, welcome to Easy CyberSec Super Python course. This video will be an introduction to understanding what is a programming language, why we use it, what is Python, and some basics about Python. Going forward, what is programming? Programming is the ability to create. Imagine yourself as a musician. What you do is you understand your instruments very well, and then you combine these instruments to create new melodies. That's what a musician does, right? Something similar is what you also do when you know programming. You understand the method in which to talk to your computer very well and then you will start creating new stuff out of the computer. Through programming, you can utilize the computer's potential to an 100%. Now, programming can give you freedom, self-expression, financial gain and can be a very creative outlet. As an example for freedom, you can start creating your own chat apps instead of using WhatsApp and Telegram. You don't have to depend on anybody, create your own social media. As self-expression, you can create automated bots that will go post on social media on behalf of you. Financial gain, you can create your own stock uh, trading application or you can create a Python program to pick the right stocks for you. Creative outlet, Python, I mean, not just Python, any programming language for its case is it's very creative. You know, when you start creating with a language, it's more like writing down a poem or writing down a story. You need a lot of creativity to get the best program out. Finally, just remember, with the right programming language, you can create almost anything that you want. Programs are like tools. So, through a programming language, you create programs. And these programs are tools. Tools are used... To make your life easier. Alright. So these tools can be either constructive or destructive. As an example. Let's take the Iron Dome in Israel. What this Iron Dome in Israel does is. It shoots down incoming rockets. Israel has the constant threat of being fired at with rockets. So what they have invented this Iron Dome. And what it does is. When there is an incoming rocket. It calculates the rocket's trajectory, path, speed. And then what it does is. It shoots and missile back to the rocket. So what happens is the explosion happens in the air and Israel is safe. This is a very constructive purpose of programming. Second thing is there is something called as uh, a destructive example. Uh, recent days there is something called as deep fake going on. So what happens is that the face of one person is morphed to the body of another person. And for this tools and programs are already available online. This is a destructive use of programming. Similarly, what you have to take away is through programming, you can create the good or the worst. What is the best ways to learn programming? Now, since you understand uh, what programming is about and its impact and stuff, you have to understand what is the best way to learn programming. It is to start building your own application right away. Just don't hesitate. You don't have to go through the basics, all the basics to understand what a programming language is. Once you start creating, you will start understanding the basics by yourself. The worst mistake while programming is blindly copying someone else's code you can use someone else's code as a reference but when you start to code exactly in a way the other person codes what happens is that you're shutting down your creative ability coding is more like writing a poem everybody has their own style so when you program you will have your own style so keep stick to that and then why python first of all python is very easy to learn it's very beginner friendly and you will see it in an example python is very powerful also because python has a lot of users now the all these users support python so well that what you can do right now is instead of writing your own program from scratch you can take someone else's program and start using it right away now these programs are so diverse you can do any number of applications with python for example you can create blockchains artificial intelligence and stuff like that so the third point is python has the widest number of applications than any other programming language on earth Let's take an example. The first is an example of C, the second is a Java, and the third one is Python. What all three programs are doing is just adding two numbers. All right, this is to illustrate that Python is a very easy to understand language. Now, C has a couple of lines of code, Java also an equal number of lines of code, but look at Python. To add two numbers, you just have to give the two numbers and an addition operator in between. As simple as that. That's what Python is mainly about. Now, through Python, what will happen is you don't have to work so hard in creating your code, but you can focus much on the output. You can think of the creative product that is going to come out instead of working very hard on the code itself. Let's take another example now. Let's understand what is a library. Now, Python has, a, has one of the widest number of libraries more than any other programming language. That's the main reason why it is powerful. Now, libraries are nothing but someone else's code. 
in this video what we will also see shortly is an example of how a library works how you can create a library by yourself and what is a library basically now let's start python in the videos going forward i'll show you how to install python now let's just try to add two numbers so i'm adding three and five so i get the result eight let me try to make the font size a little better all right yeah so now i want to perform basic arithmetic operations with two numbers that is addition subtraction multiplication and division so i go ahead and do that so 3 plus 5 gives me 8 and then 3 minus 5 gives me minus 2 3 3 by 5 gives me 0 0.6 and 3 star 5 gives me 15 all right cool now what if someone comes and tells you that you need to do this for a lot of pairs let's say for example for hundreds and hundreds of pairs of numbers you have to perform these basic arithmetic operations in that case what you can do is you can create a shortcut program to help you with this this shortcut program is also called as a library now let's go ahead and create our own library what will happen is that library will do all the basic arithmetic operations for you all you have to do is just call the library into your python program as simple as that now this may be a little complex to understand for you at the beginning but now later on when we are going into different concepts you will understand this even more better for now all you have to take away is just understand that you can use someone else's program also you don't have to create everything by yourself you can create shortcuts by yourself or you can use shortcuts from someone else going forward let's write our own program so i am created a new file called calc.py i'm going to open it with notepad all python programs end with .py so be careful of that and then what happens is that i am creating my own shortcut program all right so firstly i start with the def i give a function name and stuff like that don't worry about all this you will understand uh, this very easily down the road the best approach is to first to see practicals and then go to theory and then come back to practicals so that's what we are following throughout our course in easy cybersec so now our library is called calc.py inside which we have a function called calculator.py so think of calc.py as a book and calculator as a chapter inside the book now let's perform the basic arithmetic operations that is addition subtraction multiplication and division all right so if you can see what we are going to do is we are going to print a plus b a minus b a star b a divided by b all right so now a and b the calculator that is the chapter inside the book is going to receive a and b what is a and b a and b are the two numbers that we are going to give it all right so now these two numbers when you type it here it will go to the library it will get calculated and come back to you as simple as that you don't have to do addition subtraction multiplication division every time okay so now what we're going to do is the newly created library we will import it this is a syntax so syntax are something like the way in which you have to write so now this is the syntax to import a library so calc has been imported you remember we created the file dot calc and then what we do is calc dot that is from the book calc call the chapter calculator okay so from the book calc we are calling the chapter calculator and then we are going to give it two values to add and subtract multiply divide as well just two numbers uh, it can be anything let's stick to five and two so here you go okay now we have the results of addition uh, subtraction multiplication and division all right that's cool now what have you done you created your own shortcut program instead of writing everything line by line now let's give two different random numbers and another one now yes and now look at the results again addition subtraction multiplication and division all have been done okay let's make this look more presentable so inside my library what i'm going to do is just going to print uh, i mean i'm just going to say addition and then i will 
give the result of addition and then i will say subtraction and give the result of subtraction and stuff like that so yeah this may be a little clunky code uh, it may look like a lot of lines but there is an uh, as you go forward we will shorten this to at least like i think just less than one line but what will happen is that uh, for you to understand right now we are keeping it long and elaborate let's just keep it simple instead of full names i'll just give uh, mul for multiplication and div for division now if you see i have uh, given one line after every small arithmetic operation like this is my style of writing program i like programs which have space between them so you will have an own style so now let's uh, try to import that library over here now it will not work because what happens is that every time you import a library you make changes to the library you have to exit and reload the program again now although we imported it again what happens it still gives us the old output it does not give us the new output so let's exit and then we come back in again let's import the file calc again cool done and now let's call the take the book calc and call the chapter calculator and give it two values 10 and whatever two random values and here you go so we have addition the result of addition subtraction multiplication and division this is pretty much what a library does all right so you created a shortcut program to make your life easier like this there are shortcut programs that have been written by thousands and thousands of developers what you can do in python is you can import these shortcut programs of other users and just start using them right away all you have to know is how to call the what book to call and what chapter number to call and what values to pass that's all as simple as that now there are libraries for blockchain there are libraries for artificial intelligence there are libraries for hacking which you can straight away download and use now the stuff thing is about python is if you don't like library you can immediately switch to another one there is always a couple of alternatives always available these three concepts all together make python very powerful just to recap it's easy to use it has a lot of libraries you can use someone else's code whenever you want and then uh, it is beginner friendly that's pretty much it now next up we will look at what is a virtual environment in python and then let's create our own chat application if you love this intro to python you should join easy cybersec and take this whole course the course is at a very discounted fees of just 2000 rupees immediately reach out to this number thanks